We've got a small group of people. We're going down to Garmisch. But there she is. There's the uh, there's the beast. It's quite exciting going onto the continent to ride. What are they? Ra they rated you to 170 on the autobahn, those panniers. But we are on the autobahn. There's too much traffic. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Right. Can we go now? I haven't put my earplugs in. 224.9. I just had to stop. I tried to get the microphone working on the camera. I just couldn't. It's, it's been absolutely stunning. I've come off the autobahn. Well, here we are, back at the bike, all packed up, ready to go. So much faffing, so much faffing. I'm like, where are my keys? Where, where's my card? Where's my glass? I'm back on the glasses today, so even more faff. You know, this, that, and the other. It's, I don't know. I've got, I've got a taste of uh, ADHD because I c find it hard to keep track <laughs> of all of my belongings. Uh, yeah, it's quite, it's just, and there's so much faff, isn't there? And you add on top of that all the uh, vlogging and camera equipment and charging things. It's all just too much of one's little brain. But uh, I'm really excited about today. The weather looks pretty darn good. Actually, in uh, Garmisch, it's pissing down. So the guys who stayed the extra night and uh, riding home from Garmisch, they've got the weather. So I think I did the right move even yesterday. I've avoided the worst of the weather. So we need some fuel. We're going to Bion. Bion, Bion in Belgium. This is recommended by Tim Rhodes. I just had to re-watch some of Tim's videos to see where he went, but that's Bion in, uh, in Belgium. So it's sort of skipping France, Belgium border through Luxembourg first. It says it's a two hour ride. Uh, 200 uh, kilometres, so not too bad actually, and that's sort of half the distance. So I'm not sure what time I'm going to get in tonight, but I think it could be reasonable. But that route's going to be great, and then I think you do have to do two hours on the motorway to Calais at the end. There's no, there's no avoiding that bit. But hey, we will get some twisties on the way to that. Let's see what the weather's doing when we come out of it. It was sometimes there's a gate there, it's like a mesh gate. Imagine just driving straight into the mesh gate. And this is supposed to be an automatic barrier, but hey, you know what? I'm on a motorcycle. I don't have to wait for you and your barrier rules. I came in from the left, it's saying go right. Is that right? I'm alongside the road. Sorry, English. <laughs> I thought that guy on the bike was sinking in as I was riding straight towards him he's thinking uh okay is this a game of chicken i'm not aware of no don't worry english mate yeah not bad little uh, hotel victors a little bit of breakfast just a bit of uh, scrambled egg on toast just the job orange juice it's what you need when you're just woken up isn't it i thought it's kind of a wrong way street have i this is, uh, this is all too confusing now it's like I've just driven up the, the slit road the wrong way now. <laughs> oh God. No, we're all right. We're all right, we're not about to die. Seasoned traveller me, don't you know? Seasoned traveller. Oh, so we've got 62 kilometres on this, uh, on this road and this is, should be taking us directly through Luxembourg and onto Bouillon in Belgium. We may even dip into we may even dip into France. We may dip our foot into France at some point. Obviously we will do before we get home because we've got to go to Calais, but we may do even on the way to Bouillon. Petrol! I just realised all the faffing, I didn't put my earplugs in either. <laughs> so I still forgot something. Got to put my earplugs in. So here we are, bit of juice, bit of juicent for the morning. We're down to 30 kilometres left in reserve. Let's just hope it's not 225. Oh, it's broken. Let's just hope it's not 225 per litre again. Right, E10. 174. That's more like it. I've really sort of 
bonded with this bike on the ride yesterday. And when we were driving riding down, you know, it, because you're with everyone and we were swapping bikes, I wasn't really bonding. But now I've done that done that trip yesterday. I feel like this this bike's becoming part of me. Oh that sounds very, very silly. But you know what I mean, you just once you go through this sort of an experience with a bike, you um you sort of get that bond with it, you know, and uh now I wouldn't swap this for a GS. I was like, oh I wish I had a GS to go home on yesterday. I wouldn't swap this for a GS now. I I prefer this to the GS. I actually even found it comfortable. I was worried about the seat, you know. But I, I was fine yesterday. I didn't have any discomfort yesterday. And uh yeah, I feel like we've uh, we've bonded a little bit now. It's like a, it feels like a like a fighter jet. It feels like you know it's it's you could argue it's a little bit clinical a little bit soulless I mean that's, that sounds really harsh but I sort of from last night I, I get it I sort of you know I get what it's about it's uh, it's it's a bit of kit for sure but it was lacking that little bit of emotional connection you know it's a very capable bike but I was I was missing that little emotional connection with it but sort of doing this trip on my own it's my steed you know I'm uh, yeah I'm getting that now right let's play for this petrol nice GoPro where you go uh heading back to the UK heading, <laughs> heading yeah. back to the UK today yes yeah. so I'm going up to uh Bouillon in France so uh, in uh, Belgium and then getting up to Calais a bit later on but I thought I'd take some nice twisty roads on the way up there okay. yeah huh alone yeah on my own yeah First Sunday morning, not much traffic. Sun's out. Should be good. Yeah. Take care. Bye. What a nice fella. I must admit, people have been uh, very, very nice. There she is. Look. Oh, look at the steed. My little fighter jet waiting for me. My little F-16 waiting to blast me home. Right. Uh, bag off. I don't want to put my earplugs in. I don't think I do. I think I want to hear my music at good volume and I'm just going to sit at like 100 on these uh, sort of motorways. Just cruise, take my time, enjoy myself. Why rush? Why rush? This is what motorcycling is all about and I just don't get to do these sorts of trips often enough. I am going to savour it. Luxembourg, into Luxembourg, into Belgium, so we do five countries today, Germany, Luxembourg, Belgium, France, UK, five country tour in a day, not bad going is it? Right we're just coming to Belgium now and I'm, uh, I'm absolutely sick of just being on the motorway the whole time, this is not what I wanted, I didn't just want to do the motorway all the way. I want some decent roads, so uh, I've got an idea, I've got an idea, see if I can uh, do a bit of Cali motoring and get me off, so it's this motorway, you know, that's the trouble with like, the BMW app, your choice is the fastest route or the quickest route, where's the twistiest route, where's the scenic route? <laughs> I don't want fastest, I don't want quickest, you know, so I'm going to see if I can zip tie, zip tie my phone onto there and get Cali Moto, or even Google Maps and just say avoid motorways, just avoid motorways is all you need isn't it? Okay, so after much faffing I've got my solution, so I, I fixed on my own phone, not my work phone, my own phone, I've set a route avoiding motorways it's going to take an hour and 10 minutes as opposed to what would have been 50 minutes but we're avoiding motorways because it's point i don't so i don't want to sit on motorways all the way what is the point in that okay well, we can see where we are this is belgium now i think i think we're belgium now so we're in our third country of the day i then check there's no trains coming the third country of the day and it's only 10 o'clock this is more like it isn't it i mean this is yeah okay i've, I've bashed out 
lots of motorway miles, so that's good. Now I can enjoy, I might even find a nice little coffee shop down this way. What are we saying, Mr. Google, straight on? A sleepy little Belgian town at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. This is quite... It's going to be quite a convoluted route, I can see. Right, I'm going to put my gear plugs in now. <laughs> As if we hadn't done the faffery. It's helmet off and earplugs in time. There's so much faffing, I might, I might have to actually edit some of it out because it's just becoming embarrassing. <laughs> There's an embarrassing amount of Tom Faffery going on. Right, helmet off, earplugs in. Welcome back. I now have earplugs. Right, morning. Daddy old man mode engaged. Can we have some twisty roads, please? Well, it's a bit towny so far. My little F16 is loving it though. She's nipping in and out, nipping round this, that, and the other. This is France. We're definitely in France now. It says France here. This is the N83. Uh, we're 20 minutes from uh, Bouillon which is Belgium, so you definitely do go in and out of Belgium, you know. Ah, oh, there's the fort, there's some sort of castle here, look. There's the, the castle. Oh, this is very pretty. Just got to find somewhere for a coffee now. I'm not going to stop long. Oh, I don't know where you go, look, there's a... I've not been a Range Rover. One thing we didn't ask Tim was where to stop to get something to eat. I think we've got ourselves a... thumbnail. Well here we are, we have arrived in Bouillon. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. And uh, we have an old fort up here as well. I know nothing. I know nothing about the place. Go and watch uh, Tim Rohde's videos if you want to know a little bit more about it. But all I can tell you is it's very pretty and there's loads and loads of bikers coming through. So it's obviously uh, you know, a great biking spot, which is always a good sign, isn't it, that you've made the right choice. Thank you, Tim. Bonjour. We've got a little uh, pastry, we we'll eat that. And bugger off. I've just uh, been at a sat nav, and there's loads of options of stuff. It's got a winding route option. It's got an avoid tolls. It's got avoid motorways. That had all, everything I needed all along. If I just scroll down a bit further, so feeling like a bit of a fool. Come on, calculate the route. What? Look like my brother's missus, that did. <laughs> she having an affair? She doing in France. That wasn't my brother. Mavis is saying right. BMW said left. BMW wins because it looks more twisty. <laughs> yeah. This is what the doctor ordered. God, look at the twisty route. Look at the, look at the route on the nav. Twist after twist after twist. Finally, we get to. It's some twisty roads, taken long enough. And they've got a 90 speed limit. <laughs> I'm not even breaking the speed limit having fun. Oh yeah, baby. With the luggage on, you can tell it is a little bit unwieldy of all that luggage. Definitely makes a difference to the handling. I need to take it out later at home. Get the luggage off it. That's what it's like without the luggage. The 
the seating position on this bike is way better than last year's. Remember last year's? They sort of made it very, uh, very locked. Very locked. It's still a bit locked in, but it's nowhere near as locked in. The seat was really sculpted on last year's bike. Do you remember? It's not as sculpted. It's a bit. You're a bit freer on this one, but you are still locked in a little bit, but nowhere near to the same degree. Oh, I hate this little ridge tarmac. See the ridges. So horrible that. This really isn't very far to come, is it? You can get here in like six hours. You really could come here just for the just for the weekend. Probably the best closest set of twisties you could come to just for a weekend. Come over Friday night. Get across at about four o'clock. Oh, that's horrible, that ridged, horrible ridge tarmac. You'll be here for bedtime, 10 or 11 o'clock. Oh, more horrible ridge tarmac around the corners. And then, uh, have a good thrash around on Saturday. And Sunday morning and head home, get home Sunday night. Bloody amazing. Oh dear, that is, that is awful. That <laughs> feels horrible. That could bugger off. God, we've got hairpins and everything. Look at all these sliders. Wow, I enjoyed that very much. More of that, please. Boisery. Yeah, that's like a lot of way to live around here, doesn't it? Go out, do your sports activities. And then spend the afternoon at the pub. Can you get out of the seat a bit? Uh, you can, you can get out of the seat. That's good to know. Mavis is going on about going to the next ride. I'm having nothing to do with it, Mavis. I'm enjoying this too much. I'm not turning off on this road. Oh, it's, she's Ash. Actually, BMW agrees with us. Alright, Mavis, sorry, apologise. This is looking really twisty now. How's this going to go on for? Is this going to go on for ages or is this going to be very short lived? Oh, I'll get the twists up ahead though. Look! Front brake's quite nice. That's a bit of feel. That's the way over. Big fourth, really. We need to be. I don't want to try thinking of the fuel, really. I thought I'd. Uh, that's why I'm not thrashing up through the box for at least a bit of the torque. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. This is what it's all about. I was hoping there was going to be more of this on this trip. I'm so pleased we've actually found some of it though. Amazing. 39 degrees to the left, 37 to the right. By far the most we've had the whole trip. Now oh, we've got some uh, snow boys. Well you came on GS's fellas, it's your own fault. You know, you, sh you should have come on something a bit more sporty if you wanted to uh, Oh, he's got an XI in front. Good choice, sir, good choice. Thank you, Tim. I certainly owe you a bear, good sir. Bullion is the place to go head towards, without doubt. Well, after I last spoke to you, after we fueled up, I was basically straight on the uh, straight on the motorway. So I've just done sort of 40 k or so on the motorway, maybe not quite as much as that. And now I'm going to just stop and get get a bite to eat. I think. Well, the French service stations were amazing. Let's see how good the uh, Belgian ones are. Oh, that's my little hall there. We got uh, salmon sandwiches, a drink. Cafe latte and 
a sausage roll sort of in its pastry cooked in a almost like a yeah sausage roll I suppose but in a square sausage roll quite quite can't quite describe it but it's quite tasty time to tuck in oh, earplugs I've got my earplugs in I've got to put my earplugs in the faffing continues very nice those snacks actually it's a curried sausage roll thing sausage square and the salmon was quite smoky smoked salmon very nice better than Greg's I'll tell you that much just pulled in because I was getting a little bit drowsy I just started to realize my mind was wandering a little bit I got a little bit drowsy We've got 144 kilometres to go. It's just sat on that motor road. It's just, uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite tough. Feeling a little bit tired now. A little bit, uh, what's the word? Fatigued. A little bit fatigued. So I'm going to drink my little uh, Starbucks coffee I bought while I was while I stopped last time. Sit on the bench there. Drink that. And uh, yeah, just. Uh, get with it again before I, before I head off again that you can uh, fully fully fist this old girl give it a good fisting but uh, yeah she's been faultless absolutely faultless and I know people are asking you know do you need the do you need the MXR is the is the standard XR enough of a bike it is enough of a bike the M is uh, another 20% on well the M it feels a lot more agile. It's quite tricky to tell the difference because this, this of course, had the full full luggage where the M just had its little soft panniers. So these people look at me now thinking I'm absolutely bananas. But uh, it's, it's it's tough to tell because of that. But this is a hell of a bike. It is a hell of a bike. Definitely improved for this year with the modified seating, the little styling changes as well, and this being the M Sport. It's got that little sporty edge, but uh, the M is fantastic. If you can afford the M, and you don't mind the you know, smaller luggage, lack of luggage, I'd say go for it. If you can't, we can put you happy with this. Right, let's have a drink and uh, turn you off before these people think I'm completely insane. Well, quick fill up before we... Uh, 195 is pricey. Taking advantage of people coming across the tunnel, I'd say. But, uh, oh, 39 kilometres to go until we uh, hit the tunnel. <laughs> Doing really well. I've not even got a sore bum. I don't understand why I haven't got a sore bum. I don't understand it. You know, yes, when we drove, rode down, I'd suffered with a sore bum. I just, I'm just okay now. I, 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 don't, I don't understand why. But the good news is it's out, and I'm just having fun. I'm just really enjoying being out. I'm enjoying being out on my own. I don't know. Maybe I'm just really... I'm a loner. I didn't realise I'm a loner. But, God, price of it. Oh, it's clicking the mick, aren't they? Oops. Stupid money for inferior French petrol. <laughs> no joking. Keep your hair on, Frenchies. I was just trying to think of some some niggles. What number am I? Number two. Trying to think of some niggles and things to tell you that, that I'd like to see improved and I don't like. And I'm really racking my brains. Hang on, I'll shut up. Do you think I'm crazy? Smashing. Thank you. Au revoir. Fluent me. Fluent. It's a very tall bike, so if you're a bit shorter, you won't get on with it. I'm sort of tiptoe sometimes on it. It's, it's very, very tall. This is the M Sport, so the M Sport does have a different seat than the standard seat, so it could be thinner than the standard seat. The M, the M Sport seats are normally more sporty, but I found that fine. I've not been into like the really advanced controls with the suspension or the whether you can do a turn off anti wheelie or you need the dy dynamic pro modes for that. I don't know if it's even got the dynamic pro modes. Select presentation mode. Aha, it's got dynamic pro. I'm on way home, but I just, I just, just started messing with this. What a fool. Configure Dynamic Pro. We could have had the wheelie control off. We could have been pulling massive wheelies with luggage on the back. So I'm here at the tunnel. 
so I've got to get my phone out because my phone has the uh, has my reservation number well we're just queuing to get on now the bikes have to go on last the last carriage so this is it this is it no point showing you the ride in the UK I think I, I think it's going to be raining at home uh, but it might stop it has been raining but uh, yeah she's here that filthy filthy girl she's the muck and shite she's had all over her oh 1400 miles tyres look that, that. we've had it right over on the edge that was that little twisty bit today I was doing that with a little luggage on the chain this is the M Sport chain it was a little bit slack could do with a little bit of a Titan about 1400 miles could do with a bit of a lube as well probably Motorsport wheels the forged wheels absolutely filthy look at them filthy but uh, yeah, she's a missile, she's a weapon, she's fantastic. We will be doing a comparison with this and my GX, but until then, I hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.